Hi, my name is Mark Simic. I'm a tax partner here at Simpkins Edwards. This webinar is a brief summary of the temporary VAT reduction for those in the tourist and hospitality industry. So what are the new rules? Well, on the face of it, they're very simple. If you're in a certain sector, hospitality, hotel and holiday accommodation, or certain attractions, you can apply a temporary 5% reduced rate of VAT to certain supplies. The new rate applies from supplies made from the 15th of July 2020 to the 12th of January 2021. I am recording this on the 14th of July, so from tomorrow the new rate will apply. There are some key considerations for business owners. Is your business in the relevant industry? Well, I thought that would be easy enough to determine in most cases. Which supplies can you apply the reduced rate of VAT? There'll be examples of some businesses that will supply multiple items, some of which will have different VAT rates, and we will just we will explore that further in the example in a moment. Are you going to pass the VAT reduction onto your customers? I think for most most businesses, they may be feeling at the moment that they won't be passing that back saving on because it's there to help them and their business recover after lockdown, but others might want to use a price reduction to stoke additional demand. That's a judgment call for each business owner to make. You also have to consider how you're going to account for the reduced rate of VAT using your software and what the implications will be for you if you are on the flat rate scheme for VAT. I would like to stress the importance of keeping accurate records, uh, particularly during this period. You must keep a record of each supply made and the relevant VAT rate applied. So if we take someone in the food and drink industry, a cafe, restaurant, you will see the importance of determining the appropriate VAT rate under the new regime for various supplies. Our first example is a, let's say, cafe that orders, uh, that provides food and drink to someone to eat in at the premises. So we've got, what we've got here, a pint of beer for four pounds, soft drink two pounds, and two cold sandwiches for 15 pounds to eat in. Under the existing or previous rules, all of the above would be subject to 20% VAT, so the final sale price of the customer being £21 gross of VAT would be a net receipt of £17.50. Under the reduced VAT rate rules, we will be able to apply the 5% rate to the soft drink and the two sandwiches. But the beer would not qualify as it is an alcoholic drink and specifically excluded from the reduced rate. Assuming that the customer is still charged the £21, so that the saving is not passed on to the customer, but is retained by the business, this will increase the net receipt for that business to £20.33p, which is additional turnover of £2.83 on this transaction. Our second example is very similar. So the same items being purchased by the customer, but it's going to be for a takeaway. So again, under the current or previous rules, the beer and the soft drink would attract VAT at 20%, but the sandwich would be zero rated as it is, it is a cold or a, a, is not a heated food supply. So that qualifies for the zero rated uh, VAT rate. So under the temporary VAT rules, the VAT on the soft drink will be reduced to 5% VAT, the beer remains at 20% VAT, and the cold sandwich remains at zero rate. So you'll see as a business owner, you need to work out, you need to be able to record accurately what supplies you're making under which circumstances to make sure you apply the correct rate of VAT. I'm sure many of you are familiar with the requirements for business reporting under HMRC's Making Tax Digital MTD for VAT, um, where there's a requirement for businesses to keep um, electronic records. 
Now, there is a concession for retailers where HMRC acknowledged that it's not reasonable to record each individual sale and you are permitted to record electronically sales transaction data based on daily gross takings. At the end of the seminar, there are a couple of short videos to show you how to record the correct rate of VAT using both Xero and QuickBooks Online software. Those providing accommodation can also benefit from the reduced rate, provided they meet the, the criteria. If those businesses also provide food and drink, they will again have to split and identify their supplies and make sure they follow the rules for the food and drink section to the food and drink supplies and the accommodation section for the accommodation provided. Various tourist attractions will also uh, qualify from the reduced rate. This includes shows, theatres, circuses, cinemas, exhibitions, and similar sort of cultural events and, and associated facilities. Uh, sporting events are specifically excluded from the reduced VAT rate. And if the current supply is already an exempt supply, this takes precedence over the reduced 5% rate. So um, if you are currently providing exempt supply, you can continue to do so. We are currently still awaiting further detail on the implications for those on the flat rate scheme for VAT, but we've had confirmation that they will be adjusted temporarily to reflect the reduced rate. Um, like I say, we wait to hear the detail, but we expect this to apply to catering services, hotels and, accommoda and accommodation and pubs. Finally, uh, the Eat Out to Help Out scheme will apply from the 3rd of August 2020. So this is a scheme which can offer a 50% reduction or voucher equivalent to 50% up to a maximum of £10 per person to all diners for eating and drinking uh, non-alcoholic drinks throughout August every Monday to Wednesday. So it doesn't apply to alcoholic drinks, but it is up to £10 per person, 50% reduction on the total cost of the meal and drinks. Businesses that offer takeaway food only cannot register for the scheme. This is for people serving food for immediate consumption on the premises. Claims we made on a weekly basis. Um, the customers don't actually have to bring a voucher with them. The business will simply reclaim the discounted amount through the online service. Um, you do need to register for the scheme online and you can do that now and the link is there on the screen for you. You will need to keep certain records again, including the number of people who have used the scheme, the value of the transactions under the scheme and the total amount of discounts you've given. If you are, have more than one establishment, you must keep records for each individual establishment. So that's just a quick whiz through of the temporary VAT reduction for the tourist and hospitality industry, um, which I hope you found useful. If you have any questions at all, please do not hesitate to contact someone at your local Simpkins Edwards office. Thank you very much.